This is your standard hand rivet tool. This is good for most installations of uh, rivets all the way up to a number six. Mandrel goes in to the tool first like this all the way in. I'm going to place it, put it in and you squeeze it until you get the snap. Nothing special about it. It's a hand tool. It's just made for the guy DIY or the contractor that just puts in a couple of rivets every now and then or he's putting in the soffit and he needs to install some rivets. It's just mainly based for simple, easy installation. And then we have the big bolt cutter type. And this is made for structural type rivets, quarter of an inch rivets or larger. You'll see it only goes so far in. It's important that the rivet sits all the way into the tool. And the only way on this tool that the rivet will go all the way into the front of the nose uh, is by opening the arms. So I've opened the arms all the way and you saw that the rivet now falls all the way in place. I'm going to insert it into the hole and now I'm going to crimp the rivet. One and two. Bam. So I don't know if you heard that but the pieces of the mandrel that are left over are actually dropping in here into this little cup. This is for large rivets, stainless or aluminum. This will handle large rivets. This is a pneumatic rivet tool and obviously you need to have an air source to supply air to it. You need about 80 pounds of air. 60 to 80 pounds. So I'm just going to install the mandrel into the rivet tool and I'm just going to install it. Watch this. Fast action, quick, the material doesn't matter. It can be stainless, it can be aluminum, it could be steel. It doesn't really matter what, whatever you put in. This tool will get the job done fast. So I have this cordless riveter <clears throat> and it's pretty light. It's about 6.5 pounds. I put a new nozzle, a new nose on the head uh, to handle a number six rivet. Um, you can use this rivet tool up to a number eight. Because two batteries, the charger, and it comes with miscellaneous tools, and it comes with the nozzles. It's, it's uh, pretty cool how this adjusts. You take the nozzle off, you change the, the actual nose, take the nose, unscrew the nose off to change for the different size of rivet that you're going to use. And then you just screw the whole nozzle right back on, the whole head, the screws on. And it has this head that adjusts so you don't have to do anything else on the inside other than slip your rivet in there after you put the correct nose on. And I'm going to demonstrate right now for you uh, the installation of a rivet. Put it into the material and I'm going to hold the button. Done. And then it kicks it out. So here's the mandrel. And you can see in here is the rivet. Perfect. Cordless. No pneumatics. No air required. Great for job sites. I'm going to do another one for you.
Done. There you go. You can watch how this tool pulls it thin. There you go. Probably weighs about, I don't know, four or five pounds, I would say approximately. It's a nice unit. It's well balanced unit. What's really nice about this is that after the mandrel, and I'll just demonstrate right here, you put your rivet in. This is a number six rivet, okay, and I'm just going to pop it. And what happens to the mandrel, it'll actually slide back and drop into the back. And you can hear that, okay? I'm just going to drop them out now. So you can see here, here are the broken mandrels. So you don't have to sit there and waste your time trying to pull it out of the nozzle. Okay? That's it. Put another one in. There you go. And another one. One, two, three. It has three additional nozzles. There's one in there, and it does rivets from 3 30 seconds to 3 16 I'm going to now show you how fast this rivets. It does a nice job at riveting. It's very tight, it's clean. And as you can see, the mandrels all popped out of the back. Very nice unit. It's a must have if you do rivets on a regular basis. It's a nice tool. Thanks for watching.